Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Churn here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a live attack coming at you guys from our most recent war. This one's the uh, war after the CWL matchup. By the way, the CWL recap video should be out probably tomorrow. Just waiting for the administration to fill out the results. And once all the results are filled out, all the uh, information is there, I can make the recap video. So that should be out soon. But until then, we got a live attack for you guys. Town Hall 10 base, fresh hit. Um, Due to my scheduling, I can't wait for a scout, and it looks like our nines aren't doing too well this war, actually. They've been doing well last few wars, but this war, uh, the nines are slumping, and uh, because of that, probably wouldn't get a scout anyway. So um, we're going to do our best here without a scout. Doesn't matter that much what's in the CC. The Teslas could matter, but I guess we'll see where they end up being. Um, plan is this. Drop a wizard right here. Actually, before that, drop a minion down here to get these two drills taken out. Um... <clears throat> but the wizard there, and we're just going to hog this base. So it's a queen walk hog attack. Going to drop the queen like right here. And uh, my the hope is that she'll take out this building before this one. Because I want her to not have weird pathing. So if everything goes right, her pathing should look like taking out these buildings. Then stepping up, taking that out. Then the archer tower, then just making her way around the corner like that. My concern is if she targets this too early, she'll step up here, take this stuff out, then go for the uh, storage, then she'll shoot the wall. Because if she if she goes for that drill, it should draw her to like that, and then she'll go back for the drill. She'll double back on me, or go back for the uh, storage, I mean. And she might shoot the wall, and with the inferno tower on her, she will most definitely die probably. So I don't want that to happen. Let's hope it doesn't, um, but as long as I drop her, you know, high enough up, she should uh, target this storage first, and uh, that should be, should make everything all good. So, uh, once she walks around the corner, assuming she does, which I hope she does, um, I have a rage for her right around here um, for the three-point defense she's going to encounter. I will most likely have to use the rage. I'll just go ahead and probably use it as needed, and then I will drop... Um, right as she comes up to the corner here, I'll drop just a Valk on this army camp um, to get the funnel cleared. That's just the best way to do it, I think. It'll tank the archer tower as well. Then I drop my king and another four Valks. Uh, drop a jump here, let everything make its way on in. I'm going to poison the CC, whatever it is, and the heroes. And really, there should only be um, a few cannons. I mean, most of the stuff's going to be focusing on my queen. So the, the king and the Valks shouldn't take that much damage. They should be able to get the heroes taken out quickly under poison. And depending on what's in the CC, I'm assuming it's a hound and a loon. Um, it'll just uh, kind of hang out there. My queen will eventually pop it. Um, but she should be okay because the, the king and the Valks should clear out all the point defense. Um, notwithstanding any Teslas um, that could possibly be in these areas. I'm not sure. I'm guessing his Teslas are on the outside of the base. I, I don't think they're by the Infernos. Um, they could be in here, but I think they're on the outside of the base. That's just my opinion. I guess we'll see where they end up being. But the queen should stay up, is what I'm thinking, um, with the king and the Valks clearing everything up. Take care of the Lava Hound, most likely. Um, but as that's all going on, I'm going to send in about 16 hogs on the Inferno. And then, as soon as the Archer Tower goes down, and then another, let's say, uh, CC of hogs, plus another two of my own. I have 20 hogs total, so the last two will go down on this mortar when the timing's right to keep them inside the base. And then just going to use my three heals. Just going to heal once right about here. Heal. Next heal is going to be right about here. And third heal, heal, uh, third heal there. So just keeping those hogs healed up. Hopefully they don't hit too many spring traps. And then as they're getting towards that last inferno, not too late. I'm going to do this relatively early. As soon as the hogs are starting to make their way in, I'm going to drop uh, four loons and a haste and just haste them into that inferno tower um the sweepers there but they should be able to power through if there's teslas there they'll probably get wrecked so that would kind of suck but like i said i'm banking on teslas not being there if there was a scout this attack would be easier for sure but um there probably shouldn't be that many air traps to kill them and i think i have a good shot i'm debating sending in a test balloon first i don't know it might be worth it to trigger some of the traps like there could be some red air bombs let me go back into Clash and see what I want to do here. Let's load up Clash of Clans and uh, just think about this for a second. 
so my troop space is as you can see there um, I could maybe drop a wizard in an archer I guess I don't really need all of this I'm only using one wizard at the beginning and I guess I only need two for cleanup um, especially with the minions I have so we'll do that we'll bring a test balloon so I have to make sure I get my loons going early possibly even before I drop the hogs um, let's take a look at the base and think about this because um, I have five loons now I got everything else the jump the rage the poison the haste uh, the one archer three minions everything else looks good um, take one last look at the base and see we just the order we want to deploy this stuff um, yeah I guess what we can do is the problem is as long when that bomb tower is up I might not be able to directly target the inferno tower I think I can if I <laughs> Thomas the tank engine uh, if I drop my loons right by that gold mine I should be able to target it directly because that um, bomb tower might not go down the entire attack, which is kind of weird to think about. I might end up hasting them into that. So I'll just kind of play it by ear. But as soon as I drop the hogs and I start healing them, my next look is while in between dropping heals, I'll be thinking, how can I haste loons into there? Because there should be a gap. That might still be there just in a weird way because the jump doesn't connect it and the queen won't get it. Yeah, um, I think this will actually be successful as long as my queen does the right thing. Let's just make sure here. Um, I'm going to drop her up by there. I don't think I need to take that out, actually. I, I wasn't going to, but I think I can get away, as I was thinking, without taking that out. Um, just drop the wizard on that. Drop the queen in between these. And this should pull her in. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Everything looks good. All right, we're in. Start off with the minion. Minion. Wizard. Queen. Looking good. Nice, the Inferno's not on her yet. As long as she doesn't do anything stupid. Come on, get out of range, get out of range. Had to do it, <laughs> just too close. The Inferno, yeah, the Inferno stream was just, the effect afterwards, just, yeah. Seeking Airmine, that's not fun. All right, let's get the Valk going. Valk, okay, there's a Tesla there. I was targeted with the Hogs, I guess. Hound loon. Let's get these hogs going. I can drop my CC as well. Heal. One, two, three, four, How are we looking on time? 
come on. Not looking great on time. Need those hogs to do cleanup. Ah, they're going the wrong way. Just have nothing up here. That's the sad one, running out of time. Uh, I could have gotten my cleanup down earlier. I was just a little bit nervous, and actually it probably wouldn't have mattered. Uh, if it wasn't for that sweeper, the hogs would have gone up here. I might have had a better shot, but probably not. Uh, the blueprint's there, though. It's just... Or it's. It's really easy to repeat these attacks when they go for, um, when you get all the defenses taken out and you just have to optimize cleanup. As long as everything is deployed the same, it should be a three star. So I'm actually not too disappointed with that one. Um, yeah, just this quick adjustment, and, or a little adjustment, it's kind of a weird term. And it's, yeah, shouldn't be too, uh, too disappointing there because um, when you get all the defenses taken out and you're it's just a matter of cleanup it wasn't that close either I think the hogs were clear in a way um, looking good that's actually a nice trick the loons were a great touch I think getting that last inferno because it could have really plagued the hogs even if I had five more hogs it still wouldn't have been worth it um, I triggered a ton of air traps actually and air skellies but uh, whatever um, interesting how the uh, I had to use the queen's ability here, and I th that cannon. I just um, I thought she would get out of range uh, sooner than she did. She just kind of hung out in that inferno tower range for a long time. Right here, she stays out of it. But I think as soon as she gets on that archer tower, she's gonna step into it. Um, yeah, right there, a little bit of an unfavorable step up. Uh, but she's just gonna hang out right in the arc of that inferno, and then even when she targets that uh, de drill, yeah. One more shot, maybe not. I maybe could have gotten away with it, but she was on the move as well. I just had to pop the ability. Um, wouldn't have probably been that much better. I mean, I think she would have stayed up because I would have used her ability later. She probably would have popped the hound. Um, no guarantee it would have turned out that much better had the queen, had I not used the ability there. Uh, we hit two seeking air mines. That's... That's pretty rough, um, but the rage, it just testifies to the power of the rage keeping her up despite all of that. Um, so the guy's Tesla's pops right right there, they're in this uh, little area. Then the uh, the queen turns the corner, has two healers on her, can't quite keep her up uh, with the expo and everything, so she does go down, but the king actually goes pretty much untouched through this base here. Um, he just kind of waltzes around and uh, doesn't take much damage, at least for the first part of the attack. Here come the hogs, pretty good timing. Uh, the queen actually would have survived if the king just moved in a little bit quicker on that expo, although it does take him a while to get it down. Um, so right here, the hogs coming in, and um, did I have my king at the, up at the end of the attack? I guess I, if I had gotten the loons in like quicker and they got the bomb tower in the inferno way sooner, the king survives that. Um, so he's not a big help for cleanup, especially when he's landlocked like that. But it definitely would have helped to have the king. I, guess, I think he does go down. The hogs are pretty breezy, though. Good thing I, I healed over that inferno because there's a double giant bomb next to it. And that would have been important to take out. Yeah, the, the balloons were just a tiny bit late. If I could have just got them going a little bit earlier, it uh, would have helped. All three of the air skellies trigger, but um, wouldn't have mattered. It uh, doesn't make, have an effect on the attack besides killing my healers. And I guess it takes out a few loons, but they don't do much for cleanup anyway. Right here, the hogs, if they had just stayed up here and started with cleanup, 30 seconds probably would have been enough to get a lot of that taken out. But instead, they have to run over and help with the air sweeper. But I guess there wasn't anything else there, so it had to go down eventually because um, all the loons died. So tough attack. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to go ahead and attack another base. I'm not sure if I'll be able to record it, but uh, I probably have to do two uh, 10v10 fresh uh, attacks this war. Not the most favorable circumstances, but good blueprint. I'd be disappointed if this one doesn't get cleaned up at some point in the war. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisect the Tron out.